The much discussed optical unit split in two, the so-called split face, now seems to be at the end of its days. A new stylistic era is about to arrive at KTM, at least judging by the spy photos circulating on the net. The first pictures of the next one KTM Super Adventure, they date back to last November 2022, but in recent days other images that appeared on the forum. EU forum and taken from social networks and sector publications have been added. The element that immediately catches the eye concerns precisely the front which, as in the case of the Super Duke paparazzi in a prototype guise already last autumn, abandons the element divided lengthwise in two for a new structure based on two LED projectors arranged one above the other. In particular, in the new images of the Super Adventure, the front appears to be even more developed with the daytime running lights forming a sort of LED frame. Furthermore, a cover on the upper lamp suggests the presence of the radar sensor more integrated into the design of the front compared to the current one. They are also original large integrated turn signals which could also have a cornering function. The images suggest that there is no glass to cover the entire optical group and therefore the new face of the KTM 1390 Super Duke could be just that. Sure, cleaning it from the midges will be fun. We think it could also increase the hissing but we'll remain in doubt until we have it before our eyes. The company is coming up with its newest 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050. With a design appropriate for people who enjoy adventure on two wheels, the motorbike represents a major upgrade. See more below about the new 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050 model. What's new in the new 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050? Before, let's give some information about the arrival of the model in USA. The debut of the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050 in USA lands will happen soon, although the priority is to launch the new model in Europe. In this way, admirers of Suzuki motorcycles need to wait a bit. Meanwhile, we already have relevant information about performance, which has a super modern and innovative structure. Tires, in turn, bring an important modification. On Suzuki's newest model, they are mixed use, so they can adapt to any type of soil. With regard to the engine, we cannot fail to mention, for example, the bold and modern accessories. The windshield, then, has been revised in attention to the modernity that the company wants to reinforce. The new Suzuki GSX-S1000T looks like a bona fide Kawasaki vs. 1000 killer. Back in 2021, Suzuki stirred the pot with an interesting trademark filing for a new 1000 cubic centimeters motorcycle, dubbed the GSX-S1000T. It would sit between the GSX-S1000 and the GSX-S1000 GT, serving duty as an inline for adventure tourer to rival the Kawasaki vs. 1000. Though Suzuki has remained tight-lipped since then, it looks like the Japanese giant is finally ready to launch the new Gixxer soon. We say this because the first-ever spy shots of the ADV Tourer have now surfaced on the internet, revealing plenty of juicy details. These also hint at an imminent launch by the end of 2023. While we can't use the images, copyright violations for the win, the most noteworthy element in the spy shots is the design. Unlike the naked, the T flaunts brawny bodywork, complete with a massive top bearing and edgy side panels. No, these don't come from the GSX-S1000 GT and feature an all-new shape to set it out from the rest. Also, there's no lower cowl here, as seen on the GT. Other than this, a closer look reveals a new headlight and windscreen. Three variants of Versus 1000 will be available to European customers in 2024 with standard S and SE models on offer and two new color options available across what amounts to 12 model options. 
offering an entry point into the exciting leader class versus 1000 stable, the standard model of Versus shares many of the attributes of the other two machines in the range including assist and slipper clutch, electronic cruise control, 3-mode Kawasaki traction control plus selectable power modes and integrated anti-lock braking. Additionally, like each machine in the range, the standard machine is also available in a number of addition model types from Kawasaki dealers covering Tourer, Tourer Plus, and Grand Tourer making the overall range option an impressive 12 models. A midpoint in the range, the Versus 1000S replaces the analog-style meter of the standard machine with a full-color TFT display that can also be paired via Bluetooth to the rider's smartphone relaying a vast array of information via the Kawasaki Radiology app. As part of an overall specification that includes an IMU enhanced electronics package, the S adopts a dual direction quick shifter plus LED cornering lights and rider selectable integrated riding modes. And from a practical perspective, a large height adjustable windscreen, handguards and grip heaters all feature in the specification. Topping out the three machine range, plus addition variants, is the Versus 1000 SE encompassing all of the advanced electronic, technical and engineering features of the S model adding an extra layer of rider convenience via the adoption of Showa electronically damped suspension. This beast of a motorcycle is set to bring thrilling updates that will leave adventure enthusiasts craving for more. One of the most significant upgrades lies within its engine. Say goodbye to the previous 1,254 cubic centimeters powertrain as the 2024 or 1300 GS comes roaring with a robust 1,300 cubic centimeters boxer twin engine. Spy photos circulating in recent years hinted at a fully liquid-cooled engine design, and new images published by Motorrad Online. To provide further evidence to support this exciting development, prepare for an increased peak output of 143.5 horsepower at 7,750 RPM, surpassing the current engine's 134.1 horsepower at the same RPM. But that's not all. The R1300 GS also boasts improved torque, with 148 newton meters at 6,500 rpm, compared to the previous 143 newton meters at 6,250 rpm of the R1250 GS. And get ready to push the limits as the new model achieves a top speed of 225 km per hour. Outperforming its predecessors 220 km per hour. Beyond the engine, the Swiss documentation sheds light on other key specifications of the 2024 R1300 GS. Expect a slightly longer wheelbase of 1,518 mm, providing enhanced stability on your adventurous journeys. Honda has been on a roll off late. Not with new motorcycles, but with some mind-bending patent filings. One of these revealed a self-balancing tech for the Goldwing, while the other included a never-seen-before jump control electronic aid, the latest instance, however, might be the most interesting, as it shows Honda's plans to supercharge its flagship ADV, the Africa Twin, let's dive in. When you think of superchargers and motorcycles, the mind instantly wanders off to the Kawasaki Ninja H2, it's the only mass-produced supercharged motorcycle you can buy and primarily focuses on peak engine performance, but Honda's plan for the Africa Twin is a tad different, the patents, sourced by trusted Japanese site young machine, show the bike maker has whipped up a twin-screw supercharger. Instead of the centrifugal unit on the Kawasaki. Why, you ask? Well, because a twin-screw setup runs directly at the engine speed, this not only enables a wide spread of torque right from the lower end of the revs but also omits a lag since it has a direct drive, this can prove detrimental for an adventure motorcycle like the Africa Twin, especially when you're off-roading and need instant torque to power through obstacles or just slide around, in contrast, the centrifugal supercharger prioritizes high-end power and needs considerably higher revs too. Produce the boost, for instance, the Ninja H2 supercharger works best at a whopping 130,000 RPM. 
Torque aside, the twin screw setup will also boost horsepower by a decent chunk. And the 101 HP Africa twin needs it, after all, this is 35 horsepower shy of the BMW R1250 GS, 47 down on the Triumph Tiger 1200, and a whopping 69 ponies less than the Ducati Multistrada V4, so with the supercharger in action, we could see the Honda ADV jump to around the 150 HP mark. Oh, and since the patents show the same 1,084 cubic centimeters twin cylinder mill, we don't think there's a new engine in store, if that's the case, this could open Honda to an entire supercharged lineup, as this mill also serves duty on the Rebel 1100 in Northern Territory 1100, just like the ADV, a bump in horsepower and torque will make these ever so likable. The first patents of the supercharged Africa twin CRF1100 came out in 2020, at the time, most of us thought these were just experimental plans, with no scope for production, but now that Honda has backed them up with new filings, it seems the supercharged Africa twin plan is taking shape for good, sadly, the bike maker has never confirmed the plan, so we don't have a timeline yet. Meanwhile, in similar news, the Japanese giant also has a camera system in store for the Africa twin, as well as a crash detection system.